If I'm Scott Davidson, we are now joined live, the one, the only, Doro Patch. What's up, Doro? Hey, good to talk to you. Good to be on the show. Yeah, everything is great. We just played Wacken, the big metal festival, and oh, man, it was so awesome. And, yeah, and we are coming over soon, like, to play the Prague Power Festival on the 6th of September. Awesome. And, yeah, yeah, so all is well, yeah. So you just played the Vakken Open Air Fest, which is like one of the best heavy metal fests ever, right? I mean, yeah. and what oh, they would... 80,000 metalheads 80, from all over the world, from America, South America, you know, Europe, Russia, everything, and the whole world needs the, it's this little tiny village, but then, you know, for a week, you know, it's like, it's mayhem, it's so awesome, and we had a great show, and it was a big show, many guests there, um, Jeff Waters, he joined us, you know, we played together, and Johan Heck of Amona Mars, we played actually cool. two songs together, the new song, which will come out soon, if I can have you, no one will, actually, it is a video, it is already out, but it will be on our new album, and then, yeah, we had some other guests, and it was, it was great, it was great, my old guitar player of the Wall of Times, Tommy Bowen, he joined as well, and yeah, and it was high energy, and yeah. Well, today, awesome, today here yeah. is today is Tuesday. What day did you just play the Vakken Open Air Fest? Uh, actually, Friday. F- last Friday. Friday. The first show was actually last Wednesday. It was in this church. At first, I don't know. I, you know, the promoter said, "Oh, you played in ch- play that Vakken Church." And I thought, okay, and then it was so great. It was so awesome. Maybe so, some s- footage of so you play. It was really, really awesome, and we had such a great time. And you know, all the diehard metalheads. It was like it was. And then Friday was this big show, and we were a headliner, and it was like, oh man, so much pyrotechnics, so much fire, and yet at the moment it's it's so hot, you know, like I thought I would I would burn <laughs> all my stage clothes, the zippers, the stuff. Yeah, you were a lot of leather. So, what? How many degrees was it last Friday at the Wacken Open Air Fest? What in the eighties, nineties? Oh yeah, yeah, over, over, yeah, yeah. Over. Yeah. Okay, then you're playing at nighttime, and you got the hot lights on you, and you got a bunch of leather on. You were yeah, yeah, actually, it was like, yeah, it was a little bit still, it was a little bit light outside, so, and the sun was like right in your eyes, and like, and, oh, it was, it was hardcore, but, but nice. Was, Excellent, I wish I was, I wish I would have been there last Friday at the Vakken Open Air Festival, 80,000 people, how do you keep the merch in stock at an 80,000 people festival, that's, that's what I want to know, you get like suitcases oh, of... Oh, you know what? I only care about the music and put on a great show, you know, and make the fans happy. And I, I never care about the merch. Uh, I probably I that's should. Your, that's not your job. I, your job uh, is a f- I guess I hope the manager took care of it. But, yeah, sometimes, you know, usually people want to buy the festival shirt or the vacuum they want to, shirt. Or see the, the you new know, CD. You know, you see that all over. But, yeah, yeah, I tell you, I'm, I'm still... You know, more into music and less into business. I just, you know, I want to keep it alive, of course, but, you know, all I care is about, you know, the fans and, you know, doing good music and writing nice songs and doing a new record. So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you have a brand new double length, a double album, double CD, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be called Forever Warriors, Forever United, August 17th here in the States. Um, yeah. this, now you're saying off the air, this is your first double release ever, right? Yeah, yeah, first double album, and it's album number 20, but wow. yeah, the first double album has 25 songs on it, many old school metal songs, like really fast and hard, like Bastardos, many great anthems, I think really arena anthems, like all for metal, or turn it up, and, and a great duet with Johan Heck of Amona Mars. Called if I can have you, no one will. It's like this dark, obsessive, possessive love story. It's pretty cool, and then very, very nice, soulful songs. And two songs are before let me actually. That's when everything started uh, with that song. It's called Living Life to the Fullest. That's something to honor Lemmy and you know to give thanks. And then there's the Motorhead um, cover song on it. It's called Lost in the Ozone. Beautiful lyrics by Lemmy. He's man. He was such a great lyricist. And I wanted to start the record with Lemmy and, you know, end the record with Lemmy before some bonus tracks are on, on both CDs as well. But, you know, and the whole CD is dedicated to Lemmy Kilmer, so it says it in the booklet. So, yeah, yeah. So, uh, great news on that new CD, Forever Warriors, Forever United. Where'd you get the title from? Why do you think called that? Yeah, it's just um, the title. There's a beautiful song on it. It's my favorite song. It's called Soldier of Metal. It's not the fast song, but it's a very melodic song. It's really cool. And I uh, gave this title and the demo. I sent it to our graphic artist and I said, well, paint me a nice album cover like in the style of like Mad Max, Fury Road. And I showed him that song. And that was the 
original work title for the album. I had no idea that it would be a double album in the end. And then this album cover came back and I thought, oh man, he did such a fantastic job. He was the guy who painted actually all our album covers since uh, the Trials and Agony album cover. And then, you know, and then when I found out that I could release a double album, I thought, okay, let's change the title into Forever Boys, Forever United. And they had two CDs or two um, vinyl discs and Forever Boys is maybe a little bit heavier and Forever United is maybe a little bit more soulful and, yeah, you know, melodic. But I love them both. I love them both the same. But that's how, you know, yeah, that's why we changed the title. But Sing Soldier of Matter is a beautiful song and, yeah. So and Dory, it's for the fans. You're All the songs are for the fans, but that one is really, like, it's really how I feel to always soldier on as long as they want to see it and hear it. Very cool. Now, you're playing the Prague Power in Atlanta, Georgia in September. What was the exact date for that one? Yeah, it's the 6th. It's the 6th. The 6th. And the we Thursday. Actually, uh, we got a phone call because uh, the band Dream Evil, they can't make it. There's something, I guess, with the visas or something. It's so difficult to, to get into the country sometimes when you're from yeah. a different country. I, I luckily uh, have the green card for the last 28 years. But I know, you know, it's, it's more and more difficult. So, so there was something, and then they called us if we can fill in. And I thought, oh, Cool. I would love to, so we are on you know, September 6th, and I bring Chris Caffrey and Tommy Bowen with me, and yeah, and we will play probably a couple of new songs. That's and a great lineup. all the highlights, you know, all we are, and Burning the Witches, and all that, you know, that good stuff, you know. That's a great lineup, great guitar lineup right there. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, I'm so excited, and yeah, I played so many times with Chris Caffrey, and now Tommy Bowen, you know, he was a special guest on the Wacken Show and on many other festivals, and I thought, ah, oh, yeah, let's let's do that combination, it's maybe something really special for that special festival, and, you know. When you come to the United States for the Prague Power Fest, that's the only show you're playing, right? You're not going to play any shows in New York or Chicago or L.A., nor... Uh, yeah, later on this year or beginning ne of next year. Next year, okay. We're going to do a big tour behind that album and you know and like everywhere and yeah and it's just in the making as we speak no dates are confirmed so so Prague Power sure. is the first uh, yeah, date and first festival but yeah we want to yeah I want to tour non-stop next year and, and starting in November uh, here and there and yeah and then definitely yeah, New York of course all the, the major cities and maybe some cities where we haven't played in, in a long time like, Looking forward to that. Now, um, you just won an award recently, too, didn't you? Yeah, you're from America. It, 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 it's so unbelievable. It's actually, um, I was inducted into the Hall of Heavy Metal History. And I tell you, it was like after the Wacken show, um, two people came on stage. Steve Goldby is his name, and another beautiful woman. And then they gave me this award. And I tell you, I could almost not hold back my tears. <laughs> it was like so touching. Awesome. And, you know, and I think in the Hall of Heavy Metal History is Ronnie James Dio and Lemmy and Ross the Boss and Judas Priest. And I think that's it. And I was like, wow, I was so great. And that in Wacken, like celebrating with 80,000 metalheads, it was it, it was really something. It, yeah, it, it, wow, you know, my, yeah, my heart was beating like crazy. And I thought, oh, God, you know, and, uh, I, I tried to keep calm, you know, to look calm, but I, I, I was like, yeah, it was it was very nice. It was very touching. Mm -hmm. Excellent. We're talking to Doro Pesch. Are you calling from Germany today? Yeah, I'm calling from Germany. I'm heading over in a couple of days to the States. And yeah, we still have to do a couple of more festivals in England. The Bloodstock Festival is in two days. And then in Spain, um, it's uh, Legends of Rock, Leyenda de Rock. And then uh, we do a whole Warlock show. They're playing the Triumph and Agony album, yeah, and then we're heading over to the States and then doing, yeah, like the best songs in our set list from all these years and, and a couple of new songs and, you know, definitely all for metal. It seems to be the new anthem and if people want to check out the video, it's like, it's on YouTube. It's, it's pretty, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of fun. So for uh, all the festivals, is the uh, Wacken Open Air Fest the largest one with the, the, as far as people go, 80,000? Yeah, yeah. We uh, played a festival in Siberia, of all places. It was the first time that I was in Siberia, in Russia, and that was huge, but I think it was maybe half of Wacken. And yeah, Wacken, I think, is the biggest heavy metal.
metal festival in Europe. Sometimes they have big festivals, but then it's a mix between rock and pop and hard rock. But Wacken is pure metal, which I love so much. And, you know, it's huge and it's, it has a great vibe. And, you know, it's, it's definitely for people who ever want to take a trip to Germany. It's close to Hamburg. And, you know, uh, yeah, you can definitely, yeah, it, it, it's an experience of a lifetime, I would say. This is Rubble Radio. I'm Scott Davidson. We're talking to Doro Pesh. And this next album that comes out August 17th here in the United States, go pick it up. Double album it is dedicated to Lemmy, and it's called Forever Warriors, Forever United. What record label should our uh, listeners here look for? Uh, nuclear Blast. Nuclear Blast. Nuclear Blast. Worldwide. They're a great label, you know. I'm so happy to be on an independent label, who, you know. People who love that metal music, you know, and who are, like, into it. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Now, we got the... A few songs to choose from here. What song should we play for our listeners from this brand new release? We got uh, If I Can't Have You, No One Will with Johan Hegg from uh, Mount Marth, or we could play Lift Me Up, right? Yeah, oh, I would say because it's so special and, you know, and I know there are many Mount Marth fans out there. Let's say If I Can't Have You, No One Will. You know, he growls so nice and uh, <laughs> it's pretty unique, the song. And lift me up. It's beautiful, very melodic. But ah, yeah. No, we'll play. We'll play them both. We'll play them both. We'll play both songs. Do a double dose. But uh, I don't know. How was the song? If I can't have you, no one will. How that come together? How did you get uh, Johan from Hag from Amanda Mort to sing with you? How did it all come about? Yeah. How, how did it all happen? I should, yeah, when uh, Tommy Bowen and me, we played a couple of shows in the states as well, where we played only the Triumph and Agony album. That was the Warlock album. I loved too much, and we celebrated a little bit, and then we played some festivals. This is Rebel Radio. We're talking to Doro Pesh. We're about to play a double dose of uh, two new songs, Forever Warriors, Forever United, from the brand new release coming out August 17th, a week from Friday. I want you, uh, before we go, thank you so much for calling Rebel Radio and supporting us all these years. Uh, good luck with the new album, double album, and congrats on 20 albums. That's that's unbelievable, right? Putting out 20 yeah, releases. Man, I would never expect that we would last that long. I thought maybe two, three, four, five years maximum. And now it's <laughs> like all these years and I appreciate it. And, you know, I love the fans more than anything in this world. And it's, you know, it will always stay that way. So, so thank you for your support. God, all the best. And keep on rocking. Stay metal. And I hope I see you very soon. And, yeah, and all the best to all the metalheads and all our fans and friends out there. And, yeah, stay metal. <laughs> awesome. So I want, I want you to be the DJ for Rebel Radio this time. I want you to introduce this song with Johan Haig from Amon Marth, okay? Here we go. Yeah, Metalheads, this is this new song. I think it's a very unique song. It's a duet with Johan Haig of Amon Marth, and it's like this dark, obsessive love story. Here is If I Can't Have You, No One Will. Right here, Rebel Radio. Thank you so much, Doro.